start recording, okay? Or, I don't know, just do something. You got this. I believe in you. Attached to my desk, and I use this option for, like, podcasting. I'm going to show you the setup for the isolation booth. God makes no mistakes. Hey buddies, welcome back to the May Zane channel. I'm Zane Rima. So this video is five things you need to have for your own room studio or your desk studio. Pretty much how to set everything up and how to start recording your own songs and originals or making your own album. Number one, you need a laptop or a computer. When you record, you need something to edit it on and use programs for that. If you love Apple products, if you have an iPhone and stuff, it's easier if you have a Mac computer. You don't have to have have the Macintosh expensive computers but you can get MacBooks which are really awesome because you can travel with it and edit your videos or audio if you eventually want to make music videos you have GarageBand for free and iMovie for free from the App Store I use GarageBand for editing my audio for iMovie I don't really use that I use Final Cut Pro for Windows you can use Soundtrap I'll do another video on it you would have to pay for that it works for Mac and Windows and then there's also mix that you can get for free. You need to power up your microphone. So if you're planning to make a studio using an iPad or a tablet, it's gonna be hard if you have a really good microphone and that's where the audio interface comes along and that's where it helps power up your microphone. This isn't Windows. This is just an LG monitor that I use. I'll link in the description. This is connected HDMI to my laptop. It's in the corner, you can see it. If you ask me, go Mac. The second thing you need is an audio interface. Again, you don't want to cheap out an audio interface because this is what connects your microphone into your laptop. And if you get a cheap audio interface sound quality, it might not be as good. It might be staticky. Third thing you need is a microphone, obviously. I have a few recommendations for microphones. Audio Technica AT2035 is amazing. Also, I suggest an NT1A Rode. That is really good as well. It's more expensive than this microphone. Microphone. You might be searching through Amazon another Audio Technica microphone that looks very identical to this, but it's more of a condenser plugged in through USB. Um, you don't need to plug it into an audio interface. The quality won't be as good, I'm telling you now. This is a cardioid microphone, so where the logo is is the front, so that's how you sing to it. I messed up in my last video and I was like singing everywhere and you just look more professional, you know, huh? Oh my god. I had a blue Yeti. It looked like this and it's so big and heavy and I sold it. <laughs> I feel like there was too much static and it just didn't sound as clear as this one that I have now. The blue Yeti is a USB condenser. And you can also, if you're feeling fancy, go for the Shure brand. Yeah, that's really high quality. Good for podcasting too. I spent more money replacing the Blue Yeti microphone. It was like $109 when I bought it. I ended up selling it for like $80 and then having to still buy this microphone. It was just a $30 difference and I could have had really good quality, but I decided to cheap out. I wasted my time and my money. I'm telling you now, save some time, save some money. So the fourth thing, invest in really good headphones. These are life-changing. They're great for editing and for music in general. It's so comfort. It's so it's so comfortable. It's noise canceling too. And it's great for the studio. It's wireless, but you can also plug in with a, a cable to your audio interface. I lost mine. I'm buying a new one. Yeah, the cable's gonna have to wait. That's why I'm using the Apple headphones for now. Because you want to listen to what you're recording to and you can play it back so when you add harmonies and you add melodies or instrumentals you can hear that all the fifth thing which is used to be optional but I think you should have it with you and then make it an option to use it or not so this isolation booth in my last video I showed you you can put it on a stand it's heavy and the microphone stand was kind of you know light so I had to like tie some string to it you can 
have this on a tall table but yeah that's all you need pretty much just to overview how do you set up everything make sure you have a laptop computer have an audio editing software on there connect your audio interface this has two inputs input one is for a microphone or instrument and same thing with input two make sure when you're setting these things up you turn phantom power on and you need this to power up a mic this plugs into your laptop and make sure that your laptop has a lot of usb ports because for your little studio setup you're gonna need a few so there's that you're gonna need that there's a headphone jack and you need an adapter you can plug in apple headphones or my boat i like to use my bose headphones connect your microphone into the audio interface two options to hold my microphone so one is using the isolation booth and two is having it attached to my desk and I use this option for like podcasting connect any instruments this is an Akai I, I, okay. I don't know. MPK mini and it's USB it plugs into your laptop so it's optional too for piano if you play I'm not professional oh my god I need to start being professional uh, you can connect it to your laptop and create music and a pop filter you can attach it to a handle near your microphone to protect it from spit or pff sounds I highly highly recommend getting this isolation booth it's cheaper now than when I got it so this is the option if you don't want clean cut cover like you're talking or doing a YouTube video or if you're doing a podcast or just an amateur cover for Instagram and you don't want a huge isolation booth to block your face but other than that it's okay to use like this little setup I'm gonna show you the setup for the isolation booth So there you go, I have this all set up. The pegs are what hold this in place. And I have my headphones here, but I don't have the connector right now. And I got my headphones. I can hear myself through the microphone. Everything is connected to my laptop. You can add this as well, and then just bend it upwards like that. So yeah, you have this option too, and I can hear myself perfect. It's great to have a wireless keyboard and mouse because if this is on your desk, it kinda gets in the way. Input one has my microphone. Input two on my audio interface has nothing on it. So make sure to put input one and select it's a microphone. Create. What I like to do is I go to voice, compressed vocal, and then Hello? Preferences? Yeah, output device. I think you can hear me from my speakers. Make sure both of them are Scarlett 2i2. Yeah, you change that through preferences. Um, turn off monitor so that you can hear just your raw voice. Now, if you want to listen to your voice with the effect, that's what it's going to sound like. And you can edit the effects through plugins that you can play around with. Now, I unhighlight these because they get annoying. Um, unless you're really trying to record an original song and you need it to be on beat and on tempo Press R on your keyboard and it'll record and you can see the wave the sound waves moving so it's like it's working You can adjust the volume how you hear yourself. You won't hear yourself if direct monitor is off You want to loosen it up a bit and then make sure you can hear yourself from both earphones also you can adjust the gain of how much feed or volume your microphone is gonna get if you connected your piano you want to wait pause this recording go add track button and add a midi keyboard because you got one what you want to do is right click configure track header record enable so that you can record from both at the same time highlight that press record and then i can play and sing at the same time so um because God makes no mistakes so that's what you do and then you end the recording and you're gonna edit and I'll show you how to do that but this is pretty much how to set it up not so much of how to make a cover because that's my next video I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you still have any questions I kind of went in more depth in this video all the equipment is in the description that you see in this video so check them out please subscribe and give this a thumbs up 
please guys let's get to 300,000 subscribers I really really appreciate it and thank you so much for being patient with me last month of releasing only one video in that month my goodness I'm sorry <laughs> I'm back. Hi. I was sick when I came back from the Philippines and it was hard to really get back on it. Um, and uh. now I'm not sick, but I still have phlegm. Hi everybody, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Be amazing. I love you so, so, so much. My new setup, guys. This is my workstation. Um, don't mind that wall, but here's my mic and my laptop, my focus right, my audio interface thingy. Keyboard, mouse, my new computer, you can see me, hi! I'm editing right now, and uh, yeah, it's me and my mommy, me and my boo boo. But yeah, I got Hackintosh on here, so if you follow me on Instagram, you would know the story. It took a few days to get Mac software onto the supposedly uh, Windows computer, and it works great.